Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to celebration of 60 years partnership between KUBS and Owen. It is a great pleasure to be with you for today's celebration. My name is Jenny Chang, and I'll be your host today. It's been exactly 60 years that KUBS and Olin have been putting their effort in this relationship. We have organized a special event to celebrate our 60-year alliance and to strengthen our partnership even further. So without further delay, it is my great honor to introduce Professor Suyong Kwon, who is Dean of Korea University Business School, to give his welcoming remarks. Please join me in welcoming Dean Kwon. Hello, um, uh, I'd like to uh, welcome Dean Mark Taylor and uh, Jessica Martin, uh, Senior Associate Dean. Uh, and also I'd like to thank uh, Professor Ik Sun Jo and Professor uh, Jun Bum Lee and Professor Dong Gi Kim. And uh, Professor uh, Kyung Kim from Yonsei University. Uh, I, I'm very sorry that uh, Professor Sewan Yu from Korea University and Professor Cha Song from Yonsei University were not able to attend uh, this uh, uh, event. And I also uh, like to uh, thank uh, Professor um, Yun De O, uh, former university president. And also, I'd like to uh, thank um, uh, p um, Mr. Uh, Jong Il Om, who was a student at the time, I mean, in 1960s, early 1960s. And also, I can see uh, uh, one alumni from Washington University, uh, Yong Mo Kim. Uh, he, he studied uh, his uh, fine art uh, 27 or 28 years ago. Um, um, Mr. Rose M. Trump, former dean of Olin School, visited uh, Korea in 1957. 60 years later, uh, Mr. Uh, Taylor, current dean, is visiting uh, Korea. W what a wonderful moment. And um, the Korean uh, project started in 1958. Uh, Korea University is going to have an exchange program with Washington University in 19, no, 2018, exactly 60 years later. So this uh, tells us a lot of uh, meaningful uh, uh, event uh, we are having today. Um, Mr. Bob Vogel, who was a former dean of the Olin School, uh, former executive vice chancellor for university relations at Washington University in St. Louis. Uh, he was a graduate student at the time the program, the Korean project program started in 1958, and he said uh, the Korean project uh, was the most important uh, program contributing to our society in all in history, maybe uh, in Washington University history. Uh, thanks to uh, help from Washington University in St. Louis 60 years ago, uh, we were able to start uh, the Research Institute for Business Education in 1958, and we opened business school in 1963, first time ever here in Korea. Um, I, I, I think nine professors from Washington University uh, visited uh, Korea, uh, staying 18 months at a time. And 24 professors from Korea University and Yonsei University visited uh, Washington University at the time. And four graduates uh, eventually uh, got master's degree 
and four got uh, PhD. And we also have two graduates who eventually became university president. Uh, Mr. Junbam Lee was Korea university president, and Mr. Ja Song was university president of Yonsei University. So I think it's not an exaggeration uh, that uh, uh, the uh, Washington University project made you know, Korean economy prosperous. And I believe we cannot make history in a day or in a month or in a year. We have 60 years continuing relationship between um, Washington University and Korea University and Yonsei University. So we like to uh, have continuing relation uh, so that you know, 40 years later from today, we maybe new dean from WashU come again to Korea and celebrating one centennial uh, collaboration between three institutions. And I'd like to uh, thank again uh, Mr. Taylor and Ms. Martin and for coming and visiting us. And we'd like to have uh, more uh, prosperity and better life uh, for years to come. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Ding Kwan. Now to give his speech, it is my pleasure to introduce you, Professor Mark Taylor, Dean of Olin Business School who came all the way to Korea from the States to celebrate this special occasion. Please welcome him with a round of applause. Well, it's a great honor to be here today. Um, Korea University Business School and Olin Business School at Washington University in St. Louis have a long history of friendship and of collaboration. And I'm very proud to continue this partnership begun six decades ago. And I bring greetings from our Chancellor, Chancellor Mark Wrighton, who holds this relationship very, very dear to his heart, as well as my three previous deans, Dean Gupta, Dean Greenbaum, and Dean Bob Virgil, the, the um, three um, living deans of uh, Olin Business School, previous deans, who uh, also have uh, a great fondness for Korea University Business School. Dean Su Yong Kwan and I are both relatively new to our positions, but we are well aware of the important legacies that we inherit. As two of the oldest business schools in the world, we respect the faculty and alumni who established our schools with visions of innovation and of progress. And we share this great responsibility of preserving traditions of excellence while striving to meet the ever-changing challenges of 21st century students and business. Washington University's business school opened its doors, began business in 1917, 12 years after Bosun College which would become Korea University. So during this, our centennial year, we have had the opportunity to take, to take stock of our accomplishments over the past 100 years. And one project stands out during that period because of the impact it has, it has had on several generations of faculty and students here in Korea and in St. Louis and in the United States and in the world at large. The Washington University project funded by the US government in 1957-58, enlisted Washington University's business school in a six-year collaboration with Korea University and Yonsei University to help modernize business education programs in the aftermath of the, of the conflict. American faculty moved to Seoul to demonstrate new teaching styles, to write new curricula, and to rebuild business libraries at the two schools. At the same time, a group of, I think, 25 South Korean business professors traveled to our campus in St. Louis to observe, study, and to earn degrees at Washington University. One of the Korean faculty members to participate in the exchange was named 
June Bum Lee. And uh, we're very proud that Lee would go on to earn his doctorate in economics, to rise through the ranks at Korea University and become its president. When he returned to Washington University in 1988 to be honored as a distinguished alumnus, he said, the business program at Korea University was indeed the product of the moral and material support of your great institution. Korea has indeed risen from the ashes, the physical ashes of the war and the mental and spiritual ashes of subordination. And we're very, very proud that Professor Lee is, a, is a, an alumnus of Washington University. Korea University's Honorable Professor Emeritus Ik Sun Cho was another exchange student during the Korea project. He became good friends with a fellow student named Bob Virgil when they were studying accounting. And I think Cho has recalled that the noise he made calculating on his abacus during an examination, it disrupted Bob Virgil's concentration, a culture clash which they still laugh about today. In a recent interview, Ik Sun Cho said, studying at Washington University changed my life in Korea. This program had such an impact on my career. Indeed, Cho helped modernize the government's accounting systems and did the same for a wide range of industries as he promoted US-style profit and loss accounting. Bob Virgil, who went on to be a professor of accounting and dean of our business school, cherishes the friendships he made through the career project. He believes and he has told me that the bond forged between our schools and the continued exchange of students and ideas has been one of the major accomplishments of the business school and in fact of Washington University. My predecessors at Washington University have set a high standard in terms of establishing programs that allow our students to have an impact on the world. From our programs here in Korea, to our executive MBA programs in China and India, to study abroad programs throughout Europe and Australia, you can find Olin Business School students all over the world. I, as a new dean, I've been in my post just six months, I am committed to increasing our global reach and creating international experiences for all of our students. And we've already launched a new initiative to support student consulting projects with businesses in Africa, in Asia, and in South America. Faculty research is another vital link between business schools and global impact. And I believe that our research is capable of changing the way the world works, the way business is conducted around the globe. It's imperative that research be relevant in the classroom as well as relevant in the world of business. There shouldn't be a divide between research and teaching. And at Olin, our faculty teach with their research and in the process introduce students to critical thinking, the investigative process and the discovery of new ideas. In order to serve the business world with their research, faculty should be close to the practitioners, the business managers and the executives. And many of our professors engage with corporations as consultants and can identify challenges that deserve solutions found through research. Dean Su and I represent a new generation of business school leaders who face the unprecedented challenges of teaching students who have grown up with technology at their fingertips. Today's students are used to having information and services delivered through their phones and they are used to immediate gratification. We must take these changes into account as we revise curricula and teaching methods to include online options, interactive technology and artificial intelligence. I think it's pretty obvious that this period in history is one of immense change and disruption as the period in which we founded and started our collaboration was a period of immense change and disruption, economic, political, and technological. Our business school graduates must be able to embrace that disruption and change, and they must be able to embrace that change and that disruption empathetically and in a spirit of collaboration and an understanding that reaches out across cultures across the world. 
And that is one reason that we are very, very committed to our relationship with Korea University Business School. And that is one reason why we will continue to work with you in the years ahead. It is my hope that our, continue, our schools will continue to contribute to the world's sustainability, the world's prosperity. I very much hope that I shall still be dean when I come back to celebrate at the centenary of our collaboration in 40 years' time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean Taylor. Next, Professor Jaewon Kim, the Associate Dean of KUBS, will present an introduction to Korea University Business School. Good afternoon. It's an honor to do a briefing of KUBS in front of an honorable guest. My name is Jaewon Kim. I am the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. KUBS currently consists of 86 faculty members over seven areas, serving about 2,800 students through three programs, including undergraduate, MS and PhD, and MBA programs. Where are we at currently? This is uh, evaluation from global medias. In terms of research productivity among faculty members, we are rated uh, number one in Korea. I know we still have homeworks to move forward and through FT and THE, US World News Report, and US World University ranking-wise, uh, we are making a great progress so far. In terms of domestic rankings, MBA has been rated number one in six years row in BK21 uh, government project, and also Hangyang Business Survey rated that Korea University MBA has number one for, for five consecutive years. Our undergrad program has been also rated as number one in terms of number of CEOs we produced, and also in terms of recruiting uh, preference among 500 top companies in Korea, 200 Korean companies. Where, what are we aimed at? Uh, practically saying, we are aimed at providing the quality CEOs for Korean economy and business community. Among all the universities in Korea, uh, we are proud of having provided the largest number of CEOs from GS, Samsung, and Hyundai Motors. We, KUBS, named them as a generation one, actually. And generation number two is currently a rising star who are moving to a CEO positions, mostly from startup communities. And these are all KUBS graduates, and some of them are actually running their business in the second floor of our KUBS building as a startup. So this is our homework who's gonna be the next generation three CEOs who will be leading and responsible for Korean economy and Korean futures. With these missions, we are ready with all the faculty members, 14 faculty members in accounting, 13 faculty members in finance, 11 faculty members are international business, and 10 faculty members LSOM, uh, meaning operations and production management. 13 faculty members on management and organizational behavior, and 17 faculty members in marketing. MIS faculty members are eight. In addition to these domestic uh, full-time faculty members, we have a great alliance with uh, joint appointment professors starting from Greg Allen in marketing from Ohio State University, Professor Aninda Goss in MIS from NYU to Professor Byung-hyun Wang in Cornell University. I think we are really ready to uh, spread out our strength, our relationship with all the universities and great institutions in, in the world. Currently, we have uh, 113 schools in 33 countries with partnerships. Yeah. Started as the very first business school in Korea, uh, KUBS has become currently the best business school in Korea uh, with the missions to save the country and to educate people for the future of country. And we are moving to uh, world-class research institutions because the mission that we had uh, shall not perish from this campus. And all this journey uh, with YU, Yonsei University, our partner school, and Korea University Business School will not forget the help and support and the relationship, friendship from Washington University in Olin School. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Professor Kim. Although Ting Kwan and Dean Taylor have mentioned some of our special guests, um, I'd like to reintroduce our special guests at the head table. So we have three honorable guests who have witnessed the history and long-term long friendship between KUBS and Olin. We have Professor Ixun Jo, who's sitting right next to Ting Kwan. Professor Joe is a professor emeritus of KUBS and received his master's degree at Washington University. The next guest that I'd like to introduce is Professor Chumbum Lee. He was a former president of Korea University and currently a professor emeritus of KUBS. Professor Lee also received his doctoral degree at Washington University. And last but not least, we have Ki Professor Kiyong Kim, who's sitting right in front of me. <laughs> professor Kim is a former president of Kwangun University and now a professor emeritus of Yonsei University. On behalf of KUBS, it is truly an honor to have you professors. And I also want to thank all of you for gracing our event with your presence. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the signing ceremony of partnership agreement between KBS and Owen. Dean Kwan and Dean Taylor, please come forward to sign the agreement. This agreement is to jointly start and implement cooperation programs between the two schools. For the memory, why don't you take pictures together with us? We'll stand behind you. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just go on to come. Yeah, but Thank you, Dean Kwan and Dean Taylor. Through this agreement, the bond between the two schools will, has become even stronger. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to say that dinner will be served. I have been told that all the food items have been labeled in the menu card on the table. But if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me or any of the staff here. Thank you again for your patience and enjoy your dinner. <laughs>